Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be cracking into the Korean Pokemon X and Y Steam Siege Booster Box. Now these bad boys come stocked with 30 whole packs of Pokemon Steam Siege, each containing five cards in every single pack, but they are in Korean. So we're definitely going to have an adventure, you know, trying to remember every single Pokemon's name. But I'm a Pokemon master, so I already got them all down anyway. Anyways, I'm really excited to crack into this. So we're going to open all 30 packs in this one video. So hopefully it's not too atrocious long but without further ado let us get into it all right so here is our Korean booster box featuring Mega Gardevoir right there on the front looking studly as ever we got Magearna there in the back as well as Eveltal spreading his wings looking all majestic but we got uh, I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to read that we have something in Korean as well as break underneath there obviously at the bottom it says we get five cards in every pack 30 packs in the whole box and then I guess that one is just for like one box <laughs> I don't know but uh, over here on the side we have some of our artwork so we can look forward to seeing inside. We got Eveltal as well as Mareep. We also have a QR code down there for scanning some fun things. There's a the back if you would like to pause and read, right? I don't know if we got to speak Korean or not. And on this side, same deal, we got a shiny Azumara as well as a Persian. And uh, these ones are actually kind of interesting, these style of booster boxes, because instead of like wrapping the whole outside in some kind of I guess special Pokemon wrapping, they just tape the top. Like that's that's just what they do. So the level of security is just not there, but we do have Rainbow Knife out here trying to fight. Spidey Knife, I think Spidey Knife's chilling in my backpack, so we'll bust him out later. <laughs> And by later, I mean like some other day. Like, I just don't feel like going upstairs to get him, I guess. But, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is so exciting, you guys. I cannot wait to open up all of these booster packs. Holy cannoli. So, I guess we'll just set that in the background like that. That works. But, uh, yeah, we're going to crack into all of these today. So, let's not, uh, let's not play around. We're just going to go ahead and pick a sexy pack pick out of these gazillion packs. 30 gazillion to be exact. So this one right here is going to be our sexy pack pick. We'll go ahead and open that one last. So here's the pack art right here. What I'm actually going to do is go ahead and cut off the tops of them because these have uh, notoriously been kind of harder to open than even the Japanese packs. So we're just gonna go and like, I don't know, grab a group of them and then just cut them and then we can just get into them extra easy. Extra easy lemon squeezy. So I'd say we are all good and ready to go. I know I'm just gonna make a mess with all of these packs, but you know, it'll just be fine. It'll be such an adventure. So here we go, starting her off with the first one right here. They always include this fun little insert here. Um, I, I don't even know what it's talking about per se, but it looks like we got a cool Mega Gardevoir. Is that in, that's not even in this set, is it? I mean, gee, Danny, I wonder if Mega Gardevoir is in this set. I just had a total brain fart because I do remember, like, the Mega Gardevoir that, I think the card trick is one, by the way. The Mega Gardevoir that I use, oh my god, oh my god, are you kidding me? What the what? Right out of the first pack, you guys, we got a freaking Gardevoir EX Full Art. Wow. Holy crap. That is amazing. So the card trick is nothing. Like there isn't a card. Oh my god. I can't believe we just pulled I just dropped it. Can't believe we just pulled that. Can't believe I just dropped it. But oh my lord, that is so awesome. Oh wow. Alright, well that's going in the background. What I was gonna say was the Mega Gardevoir that I use in my fairy deck. Uh, is from, man, I want to say it's from X and Y base. I don't know if it's that far back. Maybe it's Primal Clash. I think it is Primal Clash now that I'm looking at it because it's like those same colors, you know what I mean? So, wow. Oh my god. Dude, I gotta sleeve that up. I got these sleeves from uh, one of our recent unboxings. So, oh yeah, sweet baby. Alright, well my goodness, that was one way to start a booster box opening. So, let's get into our second pack here. My lord, I am so happy that I bought this. I hope that the rest of this box can hold up to those standards. So here's another one of these. This one has a different little thing on it. So just talking about the break cards, I guess. So we're not gonna do the card trick in this one so that we, you know, don't spoil anything. My God, oh my God. I can't believe we got a full art out of our first pack. Cause these are, are kind of notorious for not having that great of pulls. You know, it seems like you get like a few EXs in a box. I would say around, you know, six EXs or maybe six to seven ultra rares in general out of a box. But usually they're just regular EXs. You know, you don't usually get a freaking full art. So, oh, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. There's no way. This. <laughs> 
I'm done. I'm freaking done. I don't even know how to respond to this. This is just too much. All right. Well, I was definitely not expecting that at all out of the first two packs. What if like this entire box was just rigged? Like they accidentally misprinted it and the whole thing was just loaded with Mega Gardevoirs. That would be great. I guess we'll find out in this next. Oh, no, I don't think we got anything good. Sad day. Our streak is over. <laughs> but holy crap. My gosh, that was ridiculous. So yeah, that pack didn't have anything crazy. But like to start it off with two identical EX Full Arts, how in the world does that happen? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So next pack here, we have a Mary a Sneasel, also got a Chimchar, a Weavile, and what is this? Energy Recycler? Something fun with energy. Energy, just having an energy party. You know how it is. All right, oh, pack number, what is this, five? I don't even, I'm just throwing my wrappers all over the place. Like, this is going to be such a disaster to clean up later. But we got a Spiritomb, a Yanma. Cool little Meryl right there. Oh, God. Uh, we also got a Volcarona, and, oh, cool. I totally forgot the name of this for a second. An Infernape Holographic. So, very cool. So far, we've gotten some really, really nice stuff. I am really pleased with this, actually. Like, really, really pleased. So that's awesome. So far we got two EX Full Arts, flame EX Full Arts, that's fine, uh, and a holographic Infernape. And this chair is making some weird squeaky noise. I don't know if it was that or the desk. Either way, just weird squeaky noises are happening. But uh, I did want to mention you guys that this video, today's video is brought to you by Bonkai Mike. He's a fellow YouTuber who actually hit me up uh, about a promotion inquiry, which I thought was really, really cool. Shows he's dedicated to his channel. So if you guys would like to check out Bonkai Mike, he does lots of Pokemon videos including some Pokemon and he's doing a Pokemon Moon Let's Play right now so if you guys would like to check out his channel I would highly recommend doing so he actually makes some really really nice Pokemon content so he just recently hit a hundred subscribers so he's doing a 100 subscriber giveaway with five $20 Amazon gift cards so I will put Bonkai Mike's uh, link to his YouTube channel along with a link to his giveaway and the start of his Pokemon Moon Let's Play so you guys can go and check it out but uh, he does a thing with the green screen where he has like you know like himself in his gaming chair but the background you can't see it because it's all like you know green screened out it's crazy <laughs> but uh yeah thank you so much for sponsoring today's video mike i appreciate you man and honestly you guys i think he deserves a lot more than 100 subscribers so you know go show him some love anywho back to opening our pokemon cards we're on a bit of a dry spell here haven't seen a hollow or an ex in a while but oh hey cool right there <laughs> speak of the devil we got a hydrogon holographic so, I don't know how many packs we've opened so far, but we've gotten two Hollows and two EX Full Art, so I'd say we're on a good track. Uh, I'm looking for some regular EXs. You know, it's weird that we haven't gotten any of those yet, but uh, let's go ahead and cut another spew of cards here. We got five, oh my gosh. This is some thick cutting. <laughs> Just not gonna cut it, you know what I mean? Oh goodness, all righty. So let's crack into this next one. Oh man, I didn't cut it all the way. Once again, still didn't cut it, so. <laughs> God, I would have been better off just like opening those the old-fashioned way. That's fine. So I'm gonna have a ton, a ton of these little insert things. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them. Maybe I'll just like put them back in the box and then like store it somewhere, save it for later. Someday. All right, so we got a Larvesta. We got some kind of uh, fossil here. Can't remember exactly what fossil that is. We also got an Infernape. That's not an Infernape. It's a Monferno. We also got an Avalug and a Nido King. King of all the Nidos. Where's Nidorino, though? We got Nidoran. Ain't no Nidorino, though. I don't even know. <sighs> that rhymed. That was fun. I'm fun. We're having fun. <laughs> all right, so next pack here. We got ourselves a Halucha. Very nice. Being all Halucha. Lucha libre -y. We also got an Anorith. Maybe that was what the fossil was for. Could have been a little, little Anorith thing going. Yeah. All right. We're calling it. So we got a Hop It along with a Yen Mega and a Jump Luff. My God. How nice. I've actually never really looked at this card at all. It's interesting that he's like on the, the shore there. You know, Jump Luff just chilling on the shore. Being a shore Jump Luff. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's see. I'm hoping that this video, once again, isn't too atrociously long because we are opening all 30 packs in one video. This is an unprecedented event, so we'll see. We got a, oh my gosh, I can't remember this guy's name, Mantine? Yeah, cool. All right, we got a Dino Doe, a Mareep, which was on the box right there. Gardevoir Spirit Link. Oh, and a Magirna EX. Yo, that's so awesome. I love it, I love it, I love it. I actually just got... A Magirna EX out of our most recent unboxing thing that we did. 
Let me see if I can find. Oh yeah, it's right here. Look at Bagheera EX. So now we have one in English and in Korean. I don't think I have a Japanese one, but uh, I don't know. We could get one. I got a Japanese Steam Siege booster box that I'm going to open at some point soon. So we're going to see if we can get it out of there. But uh, that'll be cool. I have it three different languages. Also, I think the video that I'm going to record next, uh, per your guys' request in my most recent video, um, is the Garchomp EX box. I think that one had a ton, a ton of votes. So should see, sh <laughs> you should see that later in this week. So we got a Ponyard as well as a Larvesta, cool beans, a Sneasel Weasel. Also got the Energy Recycler, some kind of fun energy action going, and a Weavile. We get a Sneasel and a Weavile in the same pack. Is that a Weavile? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I don't know why I thought it was something different. I don't know. It's confusing me. I'm confusing myself. All right, so. Next pack here, we also got a man key. Nice, nice. We got a Nidoran male overlooking the city, being all dramatic and stuff. This one would totally go on Instagram. That's totally an Instagram photo. Like, look at me, I'm exploring and doing fun things. So we got a Meowth, that's right, an Armaldo, and a Volcarona, which is the, uh, the dual type card there. That's really interesting. Like, if you were from like 19, whatever, whatever these cards, when did these start? 1998? It's either 98 or 95. I think it was 98. Yeah. So if you uh, were from then, you got like time traveled up until right now, and then you just saw what is going down with these new Pokemon cards, like all these different types, the texture, uh, the, the EXs and all this crazy. The EX is a general. I don't know. It would just be a weird experience. You'd be like, Ugh. it'd be like uh, that episode of SpongeBob where uh, Squidward's like, future. Yeah, precisely. I don't know. That that just got kind of weird, but but did it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're fine. <laughs> I always make things weird, anyways. We got a Pawnyard, a Dinodo, another little Chimchar dude. We got a Primeape looking all intense, and that was totally not in focus. Hello, Mr. Cameraman. Hello. And then we got a. Azumarill, a shiny Azumarill at that. Another dual typing card right there to add the ye old collection. Now with these boxes, I don't usually, with the Korean boxes, I don't usually put them into binders like a full set like I would the English ones. But I don't know, maybe I will start doing that because I don't know if from one booster box you can get enough. Oh my god, did I just get two ruffles? This is weird. This doesn't usually happen. All right. Well, it happened. We had a weird thing. Uh, we got a jump off and then a greedy dice, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can get enough, because you get 30 packs with 5 cards in each pack. So, if I'm mathing correctly, you get 150 cards. I think that's right. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I know how to math. But anyways, I don't, the sets have 50 cards in them, so it's possible that you can get, uh, you know, one out of every card, or one of every card that's a common and uncommon, but, you know, I'm not going to come close to actually completing the set, so I usually just put... The, uh, the cool cards like the holographics and the EXs in a binder by itself. So, oh boy. So we got another Hydreigon. So I don't know if this is the box of the duplicates or what, but there's two of those as well as two of those. So we're just going to carry on. Um, I mean, I guess two of those is not bad, but it'd be nice to get a little diversification up in here. No, I'm saying. <laughs> so we got a Mareep. Also got a Meowth. That is right. A Hopip. Braviary and a ninja boy. <laughs> all right, being all ninja and whatnot. I'm thinking we're almost halfway through the box, if not halfway through. So this is exciting. We're just crack a and we're just steaming. I was gonna say steaming through, but that sounds like I don't, it sounds like it doesn't work. Like I guess storming through would work. I'm just kind of trying to make a steam siege pun, you know. All right, well, <laughs> failed attempt. We'll get him next time. All right, we got a Chimchar, Yanma, a Sneasel Weasel. Also got an Armaldo and a Tangrowth. That's our first Tangrowth card. Cool. All right, I can dig that. Tangrowth is kind of a weird dude. Like, look at, <laughs> look at the scenario that he is in right now. Like, what is happening, buddy? You know, what's going on? You all right? I don't know. Everything's gonna be okay, man. <sighs> Alright, next pack here. Got another little insert. All of these have been different that I've turned around and seen. I know there cannot be that many. Must just be luck of the draw, I mean. So, out of this pack, we also we got... <laughs> we also got... We, this is the first card in the pack. We got a Persian with this adorable little Flabebe in the back. I just noticed that for the first time right now. 
How magnificent. I love it. I also got another one of those fossils, a halucha. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Mega throwing the gang symbols. What you gonna do, son? And a Bisharp. Cool. Bisharp hollow with the dual typing right there. Also a shiny whiny. Apparently, all of the, uh, the dual typing cards are shiny just for funsies, you know, because why not? So, we have gotten some really, really nice stuff. Seems like all of our ultra rares were there at the beginning. As you can see, we have a nice plethora in the background. But after this pack right here, we're going to count up our packs to see how many we do have left and uh, how many, you know, ultra rares we think we're going to get. I think we're going to get a lot, you know what I mean? So, we got a Mantine as well as a Larvesta. Flaffy, that is Flaffy, not a Mareep. Hello, we also got an Avalug, uh, you know, holding his little Bergmite buddies up there. And a, or an Azumarill. Let's get dual, there's so many dual typing cards that we're getting here. So we have 10 packs left, it looks like, yep, we have 10 packs left, which means we have a third of the booster box left. Oh my God, we're just flying through this. This is crazy. But uh, I'm having a good time. I mean, we've definitely gotten some good pulls, especially, I can't I can't remember if I mentioned this in the intro or not. These bad boys usually run like 20 to 25 bucks USD uh, for an entire box of 30 packs. So if you're if you're into pack opening, like specifically opening the packs, and you know, I don't know if these you know typically retain their value. Um, but I don't know, they're just for, for 20 bucks, they're pretty fun to open. You know, to just sit here and crack open a whole booster box. I don't know, it's such an adventure. So, we got a Mareep along with a Sneasel, a little Chimchar buddy right there. Another Yan Mega throwing the gang signs, man. Y'all need to chill, know what I mean? My stack is falling over over here. We also got a Jump Fluff as our, I was gonna say our regular rare, but these ones actually don't... I don't, I think the rares in themselves are actually the ones that are holographic as well as um, ultra rares. So they don't have regular rares, which is weird. I don't know. Life is weird in Korea and Japan, I guess, where they do that. So I also got a Monferno, though, a Bergmite. Oh, we got a Tangela getting all tangled up in the trees. I also got a, oh my gosh, what's this called? Mega Gardevoir, or a Gardevoir Spirit Link at that. Oh, and an Ampharos Hollow. Nice, mate. Love it, love it. So the difference between these and their Japanese counterparts is primarily the back is definitely different. Uh, the back on the Japanese one, I don't know if it still says it's actually Pocket Monsters instead of Pokemon. And then the edges on the Japanese ones are, um, are gray. And uh, these ones are more closely related to the English ones, I guess. I think the, uh, the ones that are in English are a little higher quality. These ones, they seem to be a little rough around the edges and, the, you know, the sparkly isn't as pronounced as the uh, the English counterparts. Or the, ja the, that, the, 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 the Japanese ones are always so well done. Like, they're just, oh, the quality on those is just phenomenal. So, here's another new one. Huh. I don't even know what this is. We should get it. Maybe it's their theme decks. I don't know. I don't know. It looks fun, though. So, we got a Nidoran. Oh yeah, Tangela, cool, keeping it real. Also got a Zvilus, hello, an energy recycler, whatever that one is that we never figured out. <laughs> and then a Weavile, so we've definitely gotten a lot of those Weavile cards. I don't know what his deal is, he's just lurking, man. A lurkin' durkin'. So let's get, I, I should have just cut these better is what I should have done. <laughs> there we go, we got it, don't even worry about it, forget about it. Alright, next pack here, we got a Mareep, also got a Larvesta. Cool little fossil dude, I don't even know, an Armaldo dough, and a Volca Rona. Once again, shine. Is he on fire? Wow. All right. Volca Rona's on fire. <laughs> okay, I hope that wasn't ear blood. I'm, I feel like it was because it was kind of hurting my own ears when I sang it, but. I'm no Alicia Keys, but I'm I'm Zanny. I'm super duper Zanny, so it's fine. We're all our own person, okay? So we got a Mantine. I've got a Flaffy right there. Meow, that's right. An Avalog. Oh my god. So this is truly the box. Oh, Zay repeats because not only did we get two Zvilus, no, not, that's not Zvilus, two Hydra God Hollows, two Gardevoir EX Full Arts, but now we got two. Make, I was, oh my god, I almost called these Mega Infernapes. Infernape Holographic. So we are just loading up, totally loading up on the duplicates here. I don't know if that's typical of Korean boxes because like in the past when I've opened them, they seemed, you know, to, to evenly disperse the, uh, you know, the cards. But uh, in some cases, I don't know, you just get doubles of everything, I guess. So we are down to our last five packs here. Hopefully we can pull another full art because that'd be kind of weird if the only two full arts were in the first two packs 
and they were the exact same card. So we'll just find out. We'll see what happens. I don't even know, bro. So out of this pack right here, we got a Meowth. Nice. Mantine. Oh my gosh, these cards are sticking together. Huh. We got a Dinodo. Very nice. A Primeape and an Azumarill. Once again with that shiny. The shiny shine. Yay! All right. So this, <laughs> there's seriously so many... Okay, because of all those little inserts and because of all of the extra wrappers, like, there's just stuff everywhere. Oh, my gosh. It's a disaster over here. So we got a Halucha, a little Anorith, dude. That is where it comes from. So it's a Claw Fossil Anorith. I could have looked right there and saw it. Sorry, little buddy. Looks like a hammerhead shark. It's like a weird fossil hammerhead shark. So we got a Hop Hip and a Jump Fluff, Cool Beans, and a Greedy Dice. Dice, why you gotta be so greedy, Nami? I mean, can't you just be like a, I don't know, a caring and giving dice, you know, loving dice? I don't, see, when you say loving dice, that sounds kind of weird. We could make it weird. If it's not weird, we could make it weird, you know. We're the internet. So let's just make it happen. All right. So we got a Chimchar, a Mankey, very nice. Also got a Nidoran male as well as a, oh, I think this might be our first Pokemon Ranger. This can't be. I had to have gotten Pokemon Ranger before. Maybe I did and I wasn't paying attention. I know at the beginning there's, oh, what the what? Are you kidding me? I did not even see that one coming. She's beautiful, you guys. What are the odds that we got a guard of a secret where <laughs> secret wheel, guard of wire ex full art, and two regular ones? I can't. Oh my god! I can't get it. Oh my god! See these ones. This one doesn't look like it has really any texture at all. That's bizarre. These ones definitely you could see it. Uh, not to the extent of the English ones, obviously, but oh my god. It wasn't as glossy as that one, but oh, yo, that's dirty. We did them dirty, you know what I'm saying? So this was a good box. So yeah, this one had like a little bit over here. Once again, definitely not as pronounced as the English ones or the Japanese ones. But still, I mean, full arts with that glossy, glossy, shiny shine. <laughs> Who says gloss? I think Water and Grass used to say glossy gloss. And then I think the Pokey Capital said shiny shine. I don't, there's just too many words to call things these days. I don't know, but we're down to our last two packs right here. So we definitely got another full art, as you can see, that was spec freaking tacular. But now, let's get into our last two packs. Hopefully our sexy pack pick can, can hold some goods too. We got a Pawnyard, a Larvesta, along with a Sneasel Weasel. We got a Braviary and a Ninja Boy. Pow, pow. Ninja in all the things, all the time. So, last pack out of our 30 packs of Korean X and Y Steam Siege. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, look at this. That's fun. I don't know what this is. Uh, must be like part of the, uh, I don't know, the set list to complete. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, last pack here. We got a Chimchar along with A's. Is that a Zvilus? That is a Zvilus. Cool. We got a Yanma, Avalug. Oh, cool. And a Hydreigon Break. Nice. That's awesome. Love it, love it. So we definitely finished strong here. Last couple of packs containing two ultra rare cards. Whew, not even bad. So let's do a quick recap here to go ahead and sum up this box. I am actually really, really pleased with this. So out of our 30 packs of Korean Steam Siege, we did manage to pull this studly beast, the secret rare Gardevoir EX. Absolutely love, love, love this card. The, uh, the Veltal in the background there is looking studly as ever. Uh, we also got two of the regular Gardevoir EX full art. Still looking quite magnificent. I, I sincerely appreciate the purple in the background on that one. So now we have two of I don't know what I'm going to do with two of them. Maybe I'll try to trade one of them. I don't even know. We also got the Megirna the Magirna EX as our one EX card, the one regular EX card of the box. Uh, and then we got our one break, which was Hydreigon break. Catching a break right there at the end of the opening. And then for holographics, we got an Ampharos, a Bisharp, two Hydreigon Hollows, and two Infernape Hollows. So overall, I'd say that this box was definitely a success. I had a lot of fun opening this with you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed the video as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. If you have any suggestions or if you have anything that you do want to see me open, leave them down there in the comments as well. And you guys, don't forget to check out Bonkai Mike because he makes some great 
great Pokemon Let's Plays, and I was really happy that he reached out to me and wanted to do some promotion on my channel. So huge shout out to you, Mike. Thank you so much. But other than that, huge shout out to you guys as well. So thank you so, so much for your support, you guys. It really does mean a lot to me, and you guys are truly the ones that are helping to make all of these videos possible. So you mean a lot to me, you guys. I really mean that. But uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>